Well, Hayden, heading back to Nationals, 4x4. Four four. This time around, how's this one feel? Oh, it feels great. Um, it's no different than the other times. Um, it's definitely no shock or surprise that we're here in this situation again. I mean, it's a great reflection of all the work we've put in throughout the season. How do you feel about the way you guys have been running going into Nationals? Uh, confident, very confident. Um, we've kind of been peaking the last few weeks. We've been running faster and faster um, as the weeks go on. So I think we're in a really good position to run fast next week. Have you guys talked about amongst yourselves, the four of you, what goals you have for nationals? Um, we haven't really talked about a specific time or anything. We're really just trying to run our best Friday and make it to the final Saturday, and then anything can happen in the finals. So that's really our main goal. Lainey? And I just wanted to add one question. Mm -hmm. How important is it to peak right before you get to the national championship? Um, I think it's very important. I think a lot of teams um, will get in a situation where they run their best time early in the year. Um, and it can be difficult to reach that time again. So it's really worked out good for us where we had our season best at conference, and now we've had a couple weeks to kind of recover and rest. And um, hopefully by the time we get to Michigan, we'll be ready to go again. Yeah, all right, thanks. Thanks. Well, Guy, for you, going back to Nationals, what's this mean for you? Uh, it means a lot just knowing that I've, like, I've been there multiple times now. I got the experience. Um, missing one, it was kind of a bummer, but you know, it just shows you can take one off and come back and be stronger than you know you were before. The time that you ran at the MIAA's, how much confidence does that give you guys going in? Oh, it gives us a lot. I feel like we were kind of the underdogs going in, you know, ranked pretty low, or I mean, pretty high at first, and then you know, going in, oh, maybe we could do this, maybe we can do this. If we run this time, we'll be good. But I feel like we really set a different expectation for ourselves running faster than what we thought. Uh, I'd say I'm still kind of nervous every time. This is my first outdoor national, so it's going to be a different experience for me. But I feel like being in a big time event, uh, you know, you kind of get used to it after a while. And especially since high school, you know, going to the state meet and coming in, going to nationals my first year, it just kind of gets you ready to go every time. All right, that's all I had to add. Thank you. Um, you mentioned going to the state meet in high school. So three out of the four of the guys on this four by four relay are from Kansas. Um, do you kind of remember back to running against the competition you had in high school and like how's that compare now getting to do that with you? Uh, it's kind of crazy because like like one of my teammates Hayden uh, He came to our home track meet when I was in high school and just swept the floor with us uh, I remember running against Jack at I think semen relays one time and I didn't even know it until he brought it up But it just sees how like it just shows us like, you know You can run against people and then come together as teammates at the end of the day. Juwan, going to Nationals, mm -hmm. what's this mean for you? Oh, I'm just excited. I went uh, last year outdoor, and now I'm going again this outdoor season, so I'm just excited to be back, really. The experience that you had last last year at Nationals, how is that going to maybe help you out this year? Well, since we're going to the same place, I already know like how to uh, track field and how basically just the environment there, so I'm mentally prepared to what I'm going into, so I'm basically ready for anything. And I'll ask you kind of the same question. Have you, in your mind, do you have, have a goal for this 4x4? Four four? Uh, no, I don't really. I just really go into it, and when I get the baton, I just go. I don't really just set a goal. It's just I let whatever happens, happens. Just try to run fast. All right. And how does your work on the football field just kind of compare to everything you do in track and vice versa? How does track help you in football? Uh, so in football, we just, like it's kind of known to be like a power sport. So. Me being the powerful uh, runner on the track is, is like very helpful. And uh, track, we're going into football, it's keeping me up to speed. And then going out there, it's just easy to get up to speed with anyone out there on the field. Yeah, all right, thanks. Talk us through that 4x4 four four at the MIAA. You just kind of blasted out of there. Uh, so I got this thing I tell Jack all the time. If you just keep me in a group, man, I'm going to do what I got to do. So I just tell Jack, man, keep me a couple meters right there, and I'm going to go make it a race. Oh, yeah, they talked about me throwing a baton in there. I was super excited. <laughs> Made it look like uh, Hayden uh, and X caught a punt return. <laughs> so when you're running, this is kind of a dual question. Mm -hmm. 
when you're running, do you think of yourself being on a football field? And when you're on the football field, do you envision yourself running a race? Okay, so when I'm on a track, I actually don't envision myself being on a football field. I actually look at myself as a NASCAR. I'd be running around a, the oval. But uh, on the football field, uh, it's, it's more of like, I feel like in the football field, I'll be thinking more. So it's like, all right, I just don't have really time like thinking about track and all that. But after the play, I was like, yeah, I run track, so you ain't going to outrun me type thing. Well, Jack, for you going to Nationals, what does this mean for you? Uh, yeah, just like echo what the other guys say, super excited. Um, I feel like every race up until or through the rest of the season led up to last one, and this was our end goal. Um, back in July, we set this goal to make it here. And so, yeah, it's super special just getting to qualify with the team. It's pretty cool. You run, we're on the third 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 leg of the of the relay. Is there any extra? Do you feel any extra pressure running that third leg? Uh, definitely not. It helps a lot when you hand off to someone like Juju, knowing that I can be a couple meters behind and he'll catch right back up. But um, no, I don't think third leg carries any extra pressure. Definitely, guy has to come out the blocks. I don't have to do that. Juju has to anchor. I don't have to do that. So, but it it really does help when you have such fast teammates, so to speak. Um, Coach Blocker, what echoed it all year, believing in us, say that you guys can do it. Even when our times weren't what we wanted them to be, he told us, uh, keep faith, you know, he knows that we have it in us. And then I'd say indoor, we ran at Arkansas and we ran the fastest time up until that point. And that was kind of the turning point. Juju had a crazy split that race. We all ran pretty hard. And just from there going forward, everyone said like, we, we have our eyes set on it and we know it's definitely possible. We do have it in us. So. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Yep. Right. Thanks, Jack. Good luck. Uh, real, real quick, just talk about you didn't get a senior year in high school mm -hmm. because of COVID. Last year was kind of one of those we don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. How does this feel now? This is kind of your first real full regular year. Yeah, no, it's definitely crazy because I feel like junior year in high school is the last like just solid track season I had up until this point. So yeah, this is the first year things felt certain. I don't have to go to COVID testing before every meet, stuff like that. So it's definitely like kind of crazy looking back on how like in what different position I was in back junior year of high school. I didn't really have my mind on track that much, just playing other sports at the same time. So it, it's definitely uh, something to think about going forward that it makes it a little bit more special, I guess. Right. Well, Alyssa, Nationals, the next meet up. How excited are you for this next opportunity? Oh, I'm excited. You know, going last year meant a lot. Having another opportunity to go back this year and, you know, hopefully and a little bit better means a lot more. How has last year, the way last year went, helped prepare you for this year? You know, it, it's helped a lot. You know, I, every meet I go to, I try to take something away. So that was no different from last year and even all the meets this year. Um, being up in Michigan last year, I know what to expect now. I know, you know, I've thrown on that ring before. I've been there. I, I know what all the energy is about. So I'm super excited. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling great. I still feel like I haven't hit my peaking point yet, so I'm super excited for, you know, next week. I I think we can hit some big throws. Awesome. Thanks. What is that peak? <laughs> 60 meters. 60 meters would be great. Um, you know, that's kind of what we've been talking about, me and the coaches, you know, some of the you know, teammates. You know, 60 meters is, is the goal for this year. It's been the goal all year. So if I can go out and hit that, it's going to be a great end to the year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So I came in as javelin and then, you know, my coach at the time, he kind of just handed me a hammer glove and he was like, hey, like you're kind of built like a hammer thrower, sort of, um, you know, so we're going to give it a shot. And I hated it at first, but I picked up on it, stayed with it um, and it's worked out so far. Well, Holly, going to Nationals, first off, what does this mean to you, being going to Nationals? Um, I'm very excited because, I mean, like, I also didn't have my senior year of track in high school. And so, and then last year I competed, but I didn't compete to the best I thought I could. And so this year being able to hit those marks that I wanted to somewhat hit last year means a lot to me. So when you found out that you were in Nationals, you are going to make that trip, kind of walk us through that, that moment. 
Uh, so I'm not gonna lie, all day Tuesday I was sitting there looking to see if like I made it, and then once I found out, I was pretty ecstatic, and I like called my parents and was like, hey, I made it, like I'm so excited, like this is a great opportunity for me to kind of build on for the next two years. Have you set any goals for yourself personally for this national meet? Um, so I hit 45 meters at a conference, and so I would like to keep building on 45 meters, so 46, maybe 47 meters even. I know I got a lot left in the tank still. So I've tried to uh, be more consistent with my throws and being like able to listen to my body more and see how it responds to different aspects. And so I feel like I have done a lot better at that. And so I'm able to perform better. And how much does it just mean to you as an athlete knowing that when you don't feel like you're doing your best, you can work harder and then get to where you want to be? It means a lot to, to me that I can uh, kind of like take it back a few steps and then move it forward a few steps just to get where I want to be. So I worked on Tuesday, and so I was sitting there kind of at work every now and then I'd get on just to see, like, how many athletes they would take, when they would actually, like, update it to see who all made it. And so when I saw that, I was obviously, like, really happy and really proud that I was able to do that. Well, I just got home when I saw it, and so, like, I didn't really yell that much, but I was kind of just really happy inside. No, no dance, no jumping up and down. <laughs> but I was talking to my dad at the point, so like he, we both saw it kind of refresh, and I was like, yes. So. Thank you. Congratulations, yep. Coach. Getting, getting to make another trip to nationals, taking uh, a relay plus two individuals. Just your overall thoughts and uh, expectations for the. The athletes you take. You know, this one I think we're going into um, from an expectation standpoint is uh, we're proud to be there kind of mentality. You know, we, we had uh, Alyssa was obviously there last year, so was Juwan. Um, but uh, we've, we've done the things that we needed to do to get there. And so now we're going in there and with kind of a carefree mentality. And we're, we think we'll be uh, that much more confident, that much more dangerous uh, and try and move our way up the ranks. Uh, great question. I mean, you know, I've always known the group as a whole. I mean, Holly's kind of a new one for us in terms of a national caliber athlete. I mean, we always knew that she had talent, uh, really believed in her, very good person. Um, but uh, the, the group as a whole, I think, watching their journey, you know, when their backs are against the wall, I mean, three weeks ago, I, I thought it was going to be me and Kelsey, our throws coach, and, and Alyssa Conway at the national championships, or potentially. Um, but to watch them really perform and to do the things as coaches, what we knew they could do. I mean, I, I've known the relay. You know, of course, the coach knows everything. You know, uh, um, I mean, I knew they could run this fast from from a long time ago. And I think to see that all come into fruition uh, gives you a great feeling of satisfaction. So really proud for them. So. Yeah. Five out of the six from this, right here in the state. Um, That's right. Why is that an emphasis for you guys in recruiting? You know, um, it's just kind of, you, you know, it's a mentality, I think, where you kind of take care or you take pride in your own. You know, this is a regional uh, school. I, I mean, so we tend to look in our, into our own backyard. Um, we're, we're proud of the kids that we bring in from the region, and we do good things, I think, as an institution, Emporia State does, and we contribute back to that same region. So I think you got to take care of your own backyard. I think the athletes that we've brought in um, from within the region have produced really well, and they just do a really good job of reaching their potential. So we kind of we just continue to go with what works. So. Talk about your, I mean, you kind of knew this year who was going to be in. Just mm -hmm. How is that on Tuesday when you finally find out for sure? A relief. <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, the NCAA with Division Two has, you know, the, the strength of event uh, equation. Now, you know what the minimum field sizes are going to be, but, you know, there's always just a little bit of, it's a little, little bit of ambiguity in there. You're not real sure, um, but once you see it in black and white on paper, you feel pretty good, like you've actually made it. So, it feels good. So. All right. Awesome. Cool. All right. Thanks.